Hello there, guys. Welcome back to another short online tutorial based in Illustrator. I'm Jack, one of the tutors at Blue Sky Graphics, and always, it's always my pleasure to welcome you here today. The reason why we are here today, guys, is to discuss how do we create a pattern swatch. Okay, very, very simple um, thing for you to do that can be very effective in regards to placing patterns within fonts, patterns within shapes. Okay, I want to sort of talk to you about the process today of how to apply um, a pattern swatch and how to build one. So what I've got here is I've downloaded this halftone pattern um, from the on online. Okay, and what I need to do now is I need to manipulate this for me to change. I'm not a fan of the black. I want to change the color. Okay, so what I'd need to do first of all is I'd need to image trace. Okay, so if I now come to the top here with my pattern selected, I'm now going to image trace it. Let's press OK. And there you go, image traced. Now what I need to do is to continue to make this final and say, yeah, I'm happy with the, with the trace. I'm now gonna to go to expand. Okay, so what I'll need to do now is let's try and select the back there. I'll probably need to ungroup. So right click ungroup would probably help. And there we go. And that is our pattern to ourselves. So I'm going to change it to a nice sort of red kind of color. Perfect. All for me to do on my own. Now I've image traced this and I've created the pattern. But now how do I make save this into my swatch library? Very, very, very simple. If you select everything like so, uh, probably be wise to group to so Command G to group or Control G on Windows. Now if I simply click and drag this into my swatch library like so. I now have that swatch saved. So in theory, what I can do now is simply remove that. Let's write some type. I'm going to bring out my character panel, which is Command T on the Mac or Control T on Windows. Let's pick a nice font, let's say. Perfect. OK. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the fill here and I'm going to come through and apply the swatch like so and that is it guys that is how you build and design and manipulate and change your own pattern swatch guys if you're interested about finding anything more about in uh, blue sky graphics uh, please don't hesitate to visit our website uh, at blueskygraphics.co.uk and obviously you can see some of our amazing work by our students at our um, Instagram page at Blue Sky Graphics UK. Take care, guys. I'll see you next time.